this point, I would ask the chair of the Wild Sheep Foundation Women Hunt Committee and Program, Ms. Renee Thornton, to please come to the stage. Renee? Good evening. I'm Renee Thornton, and it's my privilege and pleasure to be the chair of the Wild Sheep Foundation's Women Hunt Program. The Women Hunt Program engages and helps more women cross barriers on their journey into the fields and the mountains. And based on feedback that we received during the 2020 Women Hunt Seminar at the Sheep Show, the Women Hunt Committee is developing a web-based platform for resources and supports forming partnerships with other organizations, and creating learning opportunities for women new to hunting and conservation, as well as those who are already a part of our communities. In October 2021, the Women Hunt Program offered an exceptional opportunity for 12 new female hunters to experience their first hunt in a safe, comfortable, and immersive educational environment at the FTW Ranch in the Hill Country of Texas. The ranch delivers a new hunter course, and we partnered with them to tailor it for a group of women incorporating conservation education with a world-class shooting and hunting instruction delivered by former US Special Forces operators and experienced hunters. In addition to instruction on the safe handling of firearms and precision shooting techniques, each participant also had the opportunity to hunt a white-tailed doe. The course included instruction on game identification, shot placement, hunting techniques, and field trailing. With instruction from field to fork, the participants learned how to field dress, care, and butcher their game and prepare it under the expert instruction of a master chef. Considerable emphasis was placed on hunter ethics, etiquette, and a comprehensive introduction and discussion of the North American model of wildlife conservation. The participants were selected from applicants with the Wild Sheep Foundation's chapters and affiliates. Successful applicants were chosen by the Women Hunt Committee using a comprehensive application process, including an objective blind assessment and scoring rubric. Those same chapters and affiliates help support the new hunter course with a financial donation and most importantly, with finding an exceptional hunting mentor for each, ensuring that the participants continue to be supported, develop connections within the hunting and conservation communities, and have opportunities to be mentored with future hunts. Our collective commitment to ensuring that we have 12 fantastic ambassadors of the Wild Sheep Foundation and the Women Hunt Program was paramount to this endeavor. The 12 women who were selected are all giving back in their communities, and the, which is the third objective of this course. And they are all enthusiastically supporting the Wild Sheep Foundation and our mission to put and keep wild sheep on the mountain. I'm so pleased to introduce eight of the 12 women who were able to come here to volunteer for the Wild Sheep Foundation and participate in the sheep show. You'll also have the chance to engage with them at the Women Hunt Seminar on Saturday at 1 p.m. at the Base Camp Studio at the Reno Sparks Convention Center. Thank you, and uh, now it's my pleasure to premiere a short film which captures this inaugural effort by the Women Hunt Program. I'm Renee Thornton, Chair of the Wild Sheep Foundation's Women Hunt Program, which helps women cross barriers on their journey into fields and the mountains. The new hunter course was designed and developed and is delivered by the FTW Ranch in the beautiful hill country of Texas. 
The course is a four-day total immersion instructional and applied learning course that takes a person brand new to shooting and hunting and sees them through in conclusion to the opportunity of harvesting a white-tailed doe. The Women Hunt program partnered with the Wild Sheep Foundation's chapter and affiliate network to find applicants for this awesome opportunity and the committee selected 12 truly exceptional women. I grew up in a family, we, we fished a lot, but when it came to hunting trips, it was more of a man thing. I'm a single mom now, and I just want to be that role model for my kids. I want to show them, especially show my daughter, that girls can do anything. I grew up in a hunting environment, watching my brother and my dad and my uncles go out and hunt, and they would come back with a deer or an elk my job was kind of just to help them unpack and uh, just get the food going. I grew up in a big city. I live in a small town now. I thought, you know, it'd be nice to be able to source my own food and provide it to my family. I'm here because I'm a cancer survivor. And from that journey, I learned that life is really short. And if you don't like what you're doing, you need to get out and find something that's going to make you happy. And this opportunity came up with the women's hunt and I applied and was overwhelmingly surprised when I was selected. When I found out I was going to be a participant, I was trying to explain to my husband everything that was going to come our way in, in means of gifts and equipment and clothing to support us in a hunt. My husband literally asked me, are you sure this is legit? Just everything was so perfect when it came together. I know a couple of us got emotional just because we we're really blessed to be here and to experience all of this. In today's climate of misunderstanding of the critical role hunters play in conservation, it's more important than ever that women can articulate this message. They bring a whole new non-traditional dimension to hunting and they're changing the face of hunting and hunters to all of our benefit. Conservation is very important to me. Um, the protection and management of wildlife is something that we should all be paying attention to. One of the most critical roles hunters play is funding wildlife conservation through their purchase of licenses, tags, and permits, which is the backbone of the wildlife conservation funding model. I'm a wildlife health biologist with the Idaho Department of Fish and Game. My job and the projects that we undertake are funded through PR funds. Um, those funds are um, provided from the federal government by taxes on guns, ammo, um, things hunters buy when they are going into the field and getting ready for a hunt. I think even not being successful harvesting an animal will come with a lot of emotion as well. Felt it today. Just sitting in that quiet, hearing what not a lot of people get to hear. Um, it'll change a person and I get the addiction. Uh, there's a good doe on the back side of that pile of rocks. That's a good shot when you're ready. Okay. She's down. Okay. Good job. <laughs> She's right there. <laughs> awesome. Great okay. Great. Go down. Woo. Oh, I came here for one goal. I got it. I got some meat home for me and my kids. <laughs> I'm thankful for her. She's gonna give food to all 12 of us that were here, and and that's a wonderful gift to all of us. How do I give back to this amazing organization, the Wild Sheep Foundation, the Women Hunt Program? I want to be an advocate and I just want to get more women involved. I want to get more women comfortable with the sport, feel like they can be out there with their family, with their significant others, whoever that is. Just creating that environment that more women can do this. It's not just a man's sport. After leaving here, I plan to be in contact with the fraternity of Desert Bighorn Sheep and see how I can get involved. I can go back to 
uh, my tribe, which is the Navajo tribe, and be able to teach young women about hunting. Because I know I'm not alone. I know that there are other women hunters out there and they're kind of stuck in the same boat like I was. Um, having that itch to learn more, but not knowing where to go, not having any resources. Everything I learned is much more valuable than just taking some meat home and I know in the future I will be successful. It's really a big goal of mine to be able to, after this program, feel competent enough to guide other women and youth and in order to get more people involved in this incredible sport. This event went beyond anything I could have expected. The program is awesome, but what made all the difference was these 12 individual women. I can't say enough about their passion, their enthusiasm, and their zest to learn. We're excited to continue to work with them throughout the next year and can't wait to see the impact they will have on so many around them. Thank you, and as you saw at the end of the film, we had many generous sponsors and donors of the inaugural opportunity to attend the New Hunter course, and we are so very thankful to each of them for their enthusiastic support in helping to change the lives of not only these 12 women, but of every person that they'll touch moving forward.